Nitro is the glory. But e buggy pays the bills. Welcome to the No Name RC Podcast. Get ready for some serious bench racing. But be warned, we speak our minds, express our thoughts, and sometimes things can get a little rowdy. Hate, and he just was influenced by the hate coming from the left, the hate coming from the right. And let's get back to more club racing and less of this money-grabbing book races. It's hard not to be arrogant when you're always right. Yeah. See what I mean? That's exactly why people call you arrogant, Max. You may not agree with everything we say but it's definitely worth a listen and our pick can you stop whatever you're doing join your host Letty the great with co-hosts and guests as they get together <laughs> to chat our city. hey after that race that i watched this morning i have to talk about it here we go 100 bucks right here 100 dollar throw oh no <laughs> i like this one Yes, indeed. Nitro is the glory, but e-buggy pays the bills. What's going on, everybody? This is episode number 217 of the No Name RC Podcast. It's our Christmas show. JQ is in the back. He's got his party shirt on. Uh, we got the corporate bowman in there behind doing our producing. So we should have a semi-professional show for you guys this week. We haven't done a live in a very long time. Thank you to everybody that's joining us. First off, I need you guys to share this. We only have 68 people in here. We want to have 200 uh we're going to be giving away a lot of stuff and we talk a lot of silly season having some fun taking you guys questions all that good stuff uh but yeah first off i want to say thank you to all of you guys who are joining us i know it's a little different it's a little early there in the states we're trying to get europe and america and we do have some european or uk specific giveaways for those guys so thank you to those companies that stepped up and I uh, thank you guys to the NNRC squad around around. And of course, we'll have a patron only pod, uh, patron only giveaway as well later on, probably after Christmas as well. Also, thank you to all these companies that have supported the NNRC over the last year. They are Invisible Speed, High Tech RC, TNR Fuels, Mayako, RCGP, Beach RC, Techno RC, Sun Padal Racing, Batteries, TZO 200 Tires, Lugs Racing Tires, G Spec RC Tuning, RC, uh, sorry, Clinic RC, Papa Willis Traction Tonic, Racecraft USA. Shout out to our drivers who have rocked up and supported us there. David Ronnefalk, Robert Batty, Jared Tebow, and Alexander Hagberg. I see JQ's in the back. He's uh, looking excited to get talking. Also, I have to shout out to some of these companies as well. Oh, he's shaking his head, but I'm going to add him here soon. Uh, thank you, guys. Everybody, keep sharing this. we got to share this. Get this people going. We want to have um, a lot of people in here. I know it's a little bit of... Early start for the Americans, 6 a.m. in Australia, yes. Uh, but we have a lot of good prizes to give away to you. We had a couple of companies step up. Carl RC being one of them, they stepped up and gave away a big package. Sorry, that's for Americans only. You will get that package as well. Rennick, Model 2, and Andrew Rennick stepped up for the UK guys. He donated a PR two-wheel drive buggy kit, so one of the lucky UK guys will give that, get that. Invisible Speed, Joseph doesn't know, but he's already donated stuff. He just doesn't realize it yet. Uh, the UK guys will be available for that. And, of course, we had High Tech come on, TNR Fuels, uh, Ardent Imprints got some swag for you guys, as well as RC Hawes. He's going to take care of uh, the UK side of things. Some put out USA. We're giving away some batteries. We're giving away some tires from Lugs Racing Tires. We got some wings and tires from and a tire bag from TZO 200 Tires. Clinic RC Race Tech has given us a compression gauge and a uh, droop gauge, I believe it was. G-Spec RC Tuning has given us some cables, some, some uh, Allen wrenches, and some nut drivers. High Tech's given us some servers. House of RC's given us two memberships to the new House of RC 2.0, House of RC 2.0 coming out. And I think that's about it. Yeah. And then uh, th thank you to Danny Paz at WRCE. He made the banner. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, I thought it was pretty awesome, actually. So as soon as he made the banner, I accepted it, and we, we made a banner out of it. Also, I want to say thank you to David Bauman, who's in the back, spinning the ones and twos. He's our Jamie. He's our tits. He's probably going to go crazy throughout this. And, um, yeah, more info on Charlie Mack. We will get more info on that. You know, I'm going to bring JQ in. Hey, JQ. Hello. <laughs> you like my Christmas hat? 
What was that? Hello. What was that? What was that? Your um. It's a party. I have my retirement shirt. I have a Christmas hat. That's all I need. Okay, done with the sponsors. Okay, let's do the show. Ten, got ten minutes. Then I need to go. Yeah, uh, I'm enjoying a rum and coke out of my wrap tumbler that was sent to me by George Tasakis, RC uh, OffRoadRacer.com. So we're okay. getting into the Christmas spirits and all that stuff. Let's show. Are we going to show the world the basement? The basement. Are you, are you ready? The basement. <laughs> got all, there's a there's a producer who may or not may or may may not or may make it through the end of the show. We shall see. But thank you, David, for your time. Uh, he'll be taking care of the the winners and stuff like that. So, yeah, let's get on. So, real uh, thank you, Dave. Uh, thank you, David, for your time, and uh, we'll talk to you in a bit. <laughs> Jake, you you want to say something rude? You want to say something rude? I know you do. Um. <laughs> I always mess things up. JQ, how much do you miss me? You like my new Santa Claus app? My wife gave it to me. To be honest, I don't miss you. Yes, you do. Yeah, you miss me because you know I always made you be on time every day. That's why. You think Robert's like thinking, man, I went on tour with two lunatics? Yeah. I think that at some point. I really do. All right, JQ. Um, how's your snowy Finnish winter going? You got lots of snow. You had that when you got back. Actually... I sent Bauman a video he could show of that. I don't know if he checked his email. Yeah, he's going to go in the back there anyway. But um, let's talk a little bit. we got some things to talk about her. I, I guess first we should rip the Band-Aid right off the, the, the wound. Let's talk about RCGP. We aren't going to have it next year. Uh, I, I doubt if it doesn't happen next year, I don't think it's going to happen after that. So I guess it's what? the end of rcgp as we know it or, some, or yeah. coming back in another type of form i mean there might be one race at the end of the year but most likely nothing next year yeah it's unfortunate i can't say that uh, it's not uh, it's not ex unexpected uh yeah i mean I, i've known since the beginning of this year <laughs> pretty much <laughs> I kind of knew too at the beginning of this year. Um, it's unfortunate, man. A lot of passion, a lot of hard work went in there, and um, to see it not go out as I think it should go. Uh, <laughs> they read one of these comments. It's so funny. <laughs> Joey Fisher, of course, would say something like that. Uh, it's unfortunate that it isn't happening. Uh, but hey, I, I understand it one hundred percent. If it doesn't make money, it doesn't make sense. And definitely didn't make no money. So uh, I'm fortunate for that. A lot of passion into that. I, I'm very upset that it's not going to happen. But such is life. We, we move on and we go forward. All right, JQ. Um, what about you otherwise? You're back home for a week now. You, you, had, you spent three weeks with us. What have you been up to besides snow? Um, well, today I, I went to drive some touring car. Oh, automatics. Yeah, that was good fun. How did that go? Uh, how did it go? Well, yeah. it started off extremely bad, <laughs> and then it was okay. <laughs> After some uh, setup changes. Did you go alone? Yeah. Yeah. What else have I done? Like, I've actually tried not to not work. It's been surprisingly difficult, you know, actually. It's very difficult. Um, uh, very difficult. So anyway, uh, I've been up to nothing. I'm actually been still kind of, I've been a little bit sick since coming back from South America. So nothing too serious, but just, yeah, my stomach's been kind of weird. So I just uh, kind of uh, have been, I don't know, weird. It's been, I had no energy. I'm been tired and that's been it. I also so, went swimming. I saw that. That's, that's sort of this. It was a bit cold. <laughs> Man, Have you ever done this, Lefty? Would you do this? Mm -mm. No, I've I have never see. been in ice water before. So, I have now. Yeah, but that's some sort of holistic treatment. They kind of had it at this spa I stayed in in Ecuador. You go into the cold water, then the hot water, and they beat you with eucalyptus leaves. 
Okay. And then um oh so Pecco was there. You didn't tell us that Pecco was there. Yeah, he was there. I was uh he did 28 laps. I did 26 <laughs> in five minutes. <laughs> so I'm two laps behind right now. Yeah, Pecco, he can't catch up to him. What's up? Give me give me a couple of weeks. You ain't I'll catching make, him. Then you I'll be one him. lap behind. Dacker man, I'm Peruvian, great food, busted girls. The food was fucking awesome in Peru. I loved it. Except McDonald's. Don't get McDonald's in Peru. It sucks. No. Sucks, sucks, sucks. All right, JQ. Um, so you've been ice swimming. We've been it's been busy. Silly season has heated up since we I think since we last recorded, we had some moves. We had Cole go into TZO. Uh but before we you know what? Before we get into silly season, I want people to be aware how we're gonna give away a few things this week. Um, so usually we do questions and then we pick pe winners like that. That's become express difficult. So we're gonna have questions. We're gonna have. We're gonna put you in the. We're gonna. What we we'll do is gonna get everybody, especially for the. Because there's some of these prizes that are just for America only. There's some that are for UK and Europe. So the ones for UK and Europe, there aren't many. So we're gonna ask questions, and they're for the UK Europe uh, listeners. For the USA ones, because I know that mo most of the people are gonna be American on her. We're going to actually just whatever like if you give a super chat if you say something funny whatever if you answer if two people answer the same question we're gonna all take your names down well, ask and we're us gonna... questions ask Excuse us me? good questions yeah ask, well, ask, ask us good, good questions. questions uh we're gonna put your names on and then at the end of this we're gonna spin the wheel and then we'll pick winners that way because it's just the fairest thing i think and um that way everybody gets a chance all right, so let's get into silly season real quick. I, I have not to talk about this too much, but Cole Tatizio, not surprised about this. I kind of heard this while we was when I heard that he left. Uh, thoughts on this? I don't know. I'm curious to see how it goes. I did like his uh, exit post, though, which was more than likely complete bullshit, bullshit. <laughs> which was that <laughs> he wrote that he, did, he wasn't happy how... Uh, other people who weren't on the hot race team could run hot race tires. Wasn't that the reason he gave? Yes. Yeah. I'm Thank you, Dakar sure man. That, he goes I'm in the sure wheel. That's not the reason. I'm pretty sure the reason it has to do with dollars and cents, nothing to do with who gets to run hot race tires or who's on the team. But hey, that's that's just my theory. I mean, me, Mimo Buggy seems to share that same theory. But yeah. they had something about him running different tires at a different race. Yeah, I'm and he's sure. done it too. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, but there, yeah, we, you know, what's up to shout out to we got Tim Line, Ryan Reese, and who else? Oh, Clayton Young. What's up, Mr. President? New president. And of course, we got, yeah, dude, Chase Elric, who was just on Wheel and Trigger podcast. All right. Um, next up, Frankie Contreras Jr. out at TLR. My. My little birds tell me that he's going to Mugen. I can to, see that. Yeah. To go under the mentorship of Drake. Thoughts on this? Yeah. I think well, if he I gets mean, out he of will get, so I think that he will get pretty good at making videos about uh, oh, the basics of RC. <laughs> what? Is this the JQ we have today? Is this the oh. JQ we have? Drinking straight up lemon Let tea, it looks more. like. Let me get some more drinks. No, you're That's all right. You sound like you got a cold. I think I uh, if this sick. allows, excuse me. I'm a bit sick. I think it sounds like it sounds like it. Uh, I think if he gets if this allows him to travel a little bit more, we'll see what he can do outside of uh, SoCal because you know he's fast in SoCal. I like to see him get to some of these bigger races, and hopefully that happens under Mugen, if Mugen is his destination. But it's sounding pretty much like it is uh, his next destination. I think they're gonna go that route. Uh, they don't. They don't really wouldn't. I mean, we kind of said this. Um, you can, can kind of go with just Drake and have one of these young guys that don't have to pay much or at all, and uh, get him out there and see what he can do. Tebow out at Techno. Jake, are you frozen? No, uh, he's just he was in that same position for quite a long time. I thought the internet froze. <laughs> so Tebow out at Techno. We've known this for quite some long time, for quite a long time. Now let's have the um, immediate bomb rush of is Tebow going to Mayako questions? I'm surprised. We've had it. 
but I'm surprised we ain't getting a flood of it. Graham and Tebow to Mayaku. JQ, what's your thoughts on this? Right. Yeah, 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 you got, yeah. What, are you, what are you trying to avoid me right now? No. Uh, I said something before we record uh, before we started recording that you said I can't say, but you know what? I don't give a shit. So anyway, Tebow's too religious for my uncle. <laughs> we don't share the same religion. So you know what? You know what? You know what? Well, if that's said, we're gonna play this video. <laughs> Play that video, please. Uh, I met these girls at the bar, and they have a message. Hey, girl. Okay. Yes. Yeah, man. We're gonna play that anytime you're about to say anything rude. Did they, Did you guys oh, hear that? Okay. Nah. <laughs> Joey Fisher. See, we ain't getting that started. Joey Fisher started already. So Tebow out at Techno, I kind of knew about this a long time ago. I heard people talking about this at the Masters of Dark race as well. And um, yeah, I mean, his the final destination. We have people saying AE, S-Works, Mayako seem to be the three people. How does it feel now to uh, like have Mayako being thrown out there in these type of situations, how much did JQ pay these chicks? How much did you pay those chicks? By the way, nothing. I I, I didn't buy them a drink or anything. Yeah, it's it wasn't. Yeah, it's just the shirt. The shirt works wonders. That was at two o'clock in the morning I, that I got that yeah, message. Too. I can't remember what I said or how I got them to say that to Lefty, but yeah, probably something very intelligent to get them all to line up there and say it. In unison. That's because I wouldn't come out with you that night. I'm glad yeah. I stayed home and went sleep. Maybe that's what I said. Probably that. I mean, I'm a very simple person. I most likely said, "Listen, I have a fat, lazy friend at the hotel who didn't go out with me. Uh, let's send him a message. <laughs> Can you all say this, please?" And they did. Yep. Two o'clock. When I got that at two o'clock in the morning, I knew you was fine. I didn't worry about you anymore. All right. Um. So. Tebow, out at Techno. Let's get back on track, JQ. Don't try to deflect off me. I see what you're trying to do already. Where do you think he's going, JQ? I think he's retiring. Like Cavallari. I mean, we are going to talk about Cavallari, too. But you kind of just deflect. Does Lutz Tebow still have deflect. a deal? Huh? Does Lutz still have a deal? Yeah, I think he still has a deal with Kyosha for another year. Okay. But you didn't answer my question about Tebow, so you think he's retiring? Yeah, I don't believe you. He's I don't becoming a you. pastor. <sighs> he will travel. He has traveled a lot now around America. Now instead of tra traveling, racing RC cars, he's going to travel around different churches and hold sermons, or what are they called? <laughs> okay, <laughs> That's we are not having no more drinks do. from you. <laughs> I well, haven't let's even have a serious drinking. fucking answer I'm from all you tired. I need to... what let's have a serious where do you think he's going seriously what company do you think he's going you did a lot of deflecting her maybe the room okay let's team. see so it's not Mayako it's not Kyosho because they have no money and they have lots he just left Techno so can't go back to Techno that would be a ridiculous news cycle uh, Mugen well no S-Works he could go to S-Works Tim Lime's here, ask him. Yeah, Tim Lime's uh, here. WRC? No. Maybe. HB. Serpent. Serpent. He could go to Serpent. You know, Serpent tried tried signing it on the phone, I heard. Really? Like, before he joined Mayako. And I think Robert too, actually. I can't remember about that. Anyway, I Serpent. So he'll go to Serpent. So ah, there's can he? The serpent is evil. The well, are you are you majorly deflecting right now? Tibo said he's got some new racing opportunities, so retiring isn't in the cards. Yeah, but racing what? <laughs> Maybe he might race lawnmowers on the side while he's. Oh preaching. my gosh! Anyway, you're dragging he this said out. I think new you're racing deflecting. opportunities. Racing lawnmowers would be a new opportunity. Oh my gosh! Did what? How much have you had to drink prior to coming onto this? Nothing. I just started, so I can get through this. 
<laughs> uh, Marcus Butler said serpent a few weeks ago. It ain't serpent. You'll he find out January first. We'll find out January first. All right. Um. See, Bobby Moore says send racing making a comeback with uh Andy Smolnik and Gene the Machine Hickerson. All right. Um. All right. So let's talk about that. You mentioned it. I asked you. You said you haven't heard anything. I'm hearing some rumblings about Cavallari. I'm hearing it's out at TLR. Yeah, what did you hear? I'm hearing it's out at TLR. Why? I don't know. I don't know how true this is, but like I said, this is rumors. This is just what I'm hearing. Yeah. But I heard it's fishing around, and it's got a he's look got a ten scale deal. He's looking for eight scale deal apparently. I don't know how yeah, true that is. Ten scale deal. I I heard it might be given finesse. A what? It might begin with an S. What's that? Serpent again? If you can't figure that out, then no S works. Back to S works. I'm not saying anything else. What 10 scale brands start with an S? Quite fast one, actually. I, I don't know. Jeez, I'm just slow today. You are very slow today. In well, fact, you used what, to run this brand. What brands well. are there? Come on. What 10 scale brand starts with an S that's really good? Oh, there we go, yeah. Schumacher. Clayton, Clayton helps Dimwit. You don't help Dimwits out. But that's what I'm hearing. Schumacher. I don't know how true it is. Yeah, well, that's possible because Schumacher were looking at American drivers. Yeah. They even had a deal for Mayfield lined up. Really? Yeah. How did Mayfield. that go? Mayfield almost uh, was going to Moyako also. You know? Oh, look, look. Yeah. So what you're trying to say is somebody else? Surprised out? people. Somebody else is coming to Moyako. That's what you're saying. Yeah, I already said so before. Mm. A world champion. Mm. Not that isn't yes. Greg Degani. No, not not Degani and not Tebow. <laughs> <laughs> well, who uh, else not, would it be? Neither, <laughs> neither, neither, uh, neither the <laughs> extremely anti-religion or the religious one. Neither extreme. Someone in the middle. We're going full centrist with Mayako. Sounds like Cavallari to me. Uh, Rose, Brandon Rose. Now I think he's out at Ag Agama. The rumors are S Works or HB. Not hey, surprised give, about give this. Chris, uh, put Chris on the list. He said, world champion what? in lawnmower racing. Is he? Brooke Thorpe, they're having a race Easter time. Brooke Thorpe, Hello? RC Raceway. Can you hear what in. I'm saying? For fuck's sake. Are you listening? Who are you talking to? You. What? Chris, put him on the list for the prizes. Uh, he said, world champion in lawnmower racing. That's how there we go. We're going to put Ryan Reese in there because he's talked a lot as well. And Charlie oh. Mack for just being awesome. Just for talking a lot? Yes. Can Charlie I veto Mack Ryan Reese? It's up to you. Yeah, I veto Ryan Reese. You're very low energy. You need a Red Bull or something. Back to Brandon Rose, idiot. Uh, Brandon Rose, out. Oh, where do you think it's going? I heard, I heard s Wax is the top contender. Top contender. Almost. <laughs> Uh, wait, wait. Uh, I met these girls at the bar and they have a message. We're going to keep you muted as well. Good thing I've got you muted right now. You can't hear a word we're saying. You can't hear a word. I said I had to do that one to myself. <laughs> Avoid a disaster. But uh, yeah, Boy, he's. Out. Uh, I'm hearing. Disastrous. I'm hearing he's out at Agama. Right he had a very good year this year. Will you listen to me and shut up for a second? If if it happens, what's going on with your stuff, man? Your stuff breaking. So if I plug in my headphones all the way, they don't work. Because you probably so need I have a new to have set. it dangling like this. Then it works, but then it falls off. <sighs> Why is no one asking how JQ got that many women around him? Because he is in Brazil. Yeah. Actually, I don't know why. 
I have no idea why, but the Brazilian women liked me for some reason. Very unique they experience. Did. They did. Yeah. Very strange. They did. Yeah. They definitely drew attention everywhere you went. Back to silly season. Focus, man. Focus. Can we focus? I'm very focused. Opinion? No, you're not. Okay. So basically, we're done with silly season and we're moving on. Was that the thing? No. Okay. But we're almost done. Because. <laughs> Look what. <it> just... <laughs> okay. Fish, put fish on the list. Obviously, because prostitutes <laughs> in Brazil are cheap. No. Those women were not prostitutes they were respectable members of uh, the local community outstanding <laughs> young ladies and they were not prostitutes this was a normal restaurant okay i have to admit we were in a, at a normal place when we left you no focus yeah. on this show oh thank look at that vicky Payne. who's that thank you vicky you didn't have to but thank you very much absolutely Thank you. Q keeps taking it down. Fucking don't do it. We have a producer for fuck's sake. You shouldn't be doing it. I anything. am not even touching it. I am not even touching it. Anyway, back to Jesus, Jake. You are so unfocused right now. It's. I think I need another drink. Yeah, I think you I'm need to get for, look, for myself. Look, Bowman's in the back, down in a beer or water. Water. Make a drink. I'm drinking my drink. All right. Okay. Uh, WRC, two team managers, Chris Morant and Dylan Caldwell have taken over managing uh, positions at WRC. Steadily growing brand. Okay, we got another one. <laughs> the women were transgender. <laughs> okay, Marcus Butler on the list, Bauman. <laughs> Quite possibly in Brazil. Quite possible. They won. Uh, they won. Did you give them the crocodile on D check? What's that? No, I'm not telling you what that is. Um, you don't want to know what it is. Have you never we watched need, uh, Crocodile on the D? Bauman, Bauman, go to the private chat. I got something to tell you. Oh, Lord have mercy. Will you focus for a second? I'm here. I'm focused. Anyway, uh, Joe Q, now we started talking about girls in Brazil, and you've lost complete and total focus about everything. Everything. We need to get you refocused again. What? We need to find something for you to complain about. Um, all right. So Dylan Caldwell, Chris Morant in as WRC managers. I talked to some of the guys there. They said uh, Dylan is kind of like going to be, uh, they're both sharing those responsibilities with the intent that Dylan will take over for full as like the full manager eventually. And um, congratulations to them. I see WRC is growing as a brand within America. They also signed a few guys. They signed Leonardo Valente. Yeah. Tresavon, which is very fast as well over there in the in Italy. And uh, we should see what they do in the future. And now, I don't know what JQ they won't is getting do anything done. in the future. Oh, man, man, you're so negative, man. I'm just realistic. Not the drivers or the brand. It's done. One thing about you, no, we don't need you to be saucy on the podcast, you know. <laughs> we just need saucy. you to... What's that? Saucy. You know what saucy is? Like... You can be funny, but you want to tear the ass out of it. Sassy, you mean? <laughs> Did you go into silence mode with all those chicks in there? Actually, you... <sighs> What's a dream pie? I don't know. You could be absolutely... <laughs> all right. Anything else you want to talk about Silly Season before we go on? We're going to give away something. Well, how can there be anything else I want to talk about Silly Season when I didn't want to talk about Silly Season in the first place? So obviously no there's nothing else. So see, now you're getting warmed up. You're starting to complain. So that means you're getting to your yeah. happy place. And he starts complaining. The more he complains, the more happy he is. It's like a cream pie, but you gargle it. <laughs> These guys are vicious in the chat. All right. Um, we're going to give away something from the UK here. Uh, we had RC Haas who's doing. Chemo RC has a question. Ask you a question. Chemo RC. This is Salty's nephew. Salty can't be with us today because he's flying to to uh, a dream pie as a dreamy version of a cutie pie. Well, what's the question, Chemo? Do you miss your Salty 
Godfather already because it's going to Canada. All right, let's give away something. Pretty simple. To all of our UK, European races out there, here's your chance to win a... Uh, NNRC shirt from RC Haas. Oh, look, we got Tebow, and he must have heard you talking about him, JQ. Who? Yeah, good friend Tebow. Oh, shit. Now you've got in trouble. I didn't say anything, so I'm okay. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. All right, to all of our UK listeners, you got a chance to win a NNRC shirt from RC Haas. You have to answer this question. It's pretty simple. And if you, it's pretty simple. When was the first Neo race and who won it? Pretty simple. You win that, Neo Chris race. Lovell. All right, Chris, then I'll make it a hat for you if you win. But somebody has to win that. That's in the USA. <laughs> he says, what did I miss? I thought I felt my ears burning a little bit. Well, of course, you know, JQ is going to be talking about Tebow on this chat. I, I don't nuts. remember what I said. All right, UK guys, when was the first? Ne no, you can't answer, uh, Jared Tebow. We have one answer. Do you even know the answer? So last I know time the we answer. had, last time we I had a the... quiz, Lefty didn't even know the answers. <laughs> That's no. how he runs quizzes here. No, it's not 2010, homeboy RC. Nope. Quick, will you win a shirt and a hat if you're in the UK or Europe? Nope, wrong case, Edwards. I hope my dates are right. Nope, wrong. Boom, 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 boom. Bjorn Tearing, he wins. Tebow, 2005. Hey, so I was right. Congratulations. Now, where was the where was the race to? About an even harder question. Do you remember where it was? I thought it was in Belgium or Holland. So you don't you're asking you're actually asking now because you don't know. Uh, is this this isn't a quiz question. I'm asking. Yeah, well, yeah, it was in Belgium. Okay, because some people said it was in. Uh, Holland. All right, so we're gonna stick with that. We're gonna give away I another think it shirt. Was Belgium. We'll give another 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 shirt to our UK or European listeners. And who is the current 10 scale two wheel drive European champion? This is easy. 10 scale two wheel drive world champion. Sorry, European champion. I said European champion. Oh, European champion. Mm -hmm. Two wheel drive. No. Nope. My producer is a bit uh, off. I think he's going to sleep. Case. Tampus Berg. I'll take over. Tampus, he, Tampus wins. He gets a Tommy Hall. Actually, you know what happens? You don't count. <laughs> <laughs> what was the prize? Um, a, a NNRC shirt. I think I've given him already. <laughs> oh, that's funny. We're going to give it to Chad Donnelly if he lives in the UK. That wasn't it. It was Tommy Hall. Very good, Hampus. And then we're going to give it to second place, Chad Donnelly. I'll give you a shirt at DNC, Hampus, when I see you, if you come. All right. Um, we're going to enter somebody into, this is for an American. What's in the cup, Lefty? Oh, the cup has got rum and coke in it. Rum and coke today. All right, this is for our American friends. Which race had the most entries, Silver State or PMB? RCGP. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Nope, you guys are wrong. Everybody says so it's, it's, it's obviously got to be the other answer. Exactly. So Silver State, it was Ryan Reese. You're right. It had more entries. No, no, that's not the first one. Benjamin James. Oh, Benjamin James won it? Yeah. All right. So Benjamin James, you get put into the wheel. Fuck, it's a lot of people here. We're going to take... 
Come on, where am I going back? Why is Tim Lime saying wow JQ again? Because he's probably drunk. What is it, 10 a.m. over there? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Jesus. <laughs> you are so what are what are you? What did you take? Like a ruthless pill, a savage pill before you came on her? So BJ uh Benjamin James into the wheel of fortune. I want a JQ autograph. All right. JQ, well, let's take some questions from these guys. We're going to go through. Um, okay, I got another question for the Americans. Hold on for a second. What year did Ryan Mayfield start with Mugen, and what big race did he sweep? Come on. It's pretty easy. What year did Ryan Mayfield start with Mugen, and what race did he sweep? Very good, Charlie Mack. You have been entered into the Wheel of Fortune. He swept all three classes at DNC in 2017, and he joined Mugen in 2017. And now he's with Techno. Oh, heck no. Oh, see, I knew you was going to start. I knew you was going to start. All right, we're going to give away something in the UK. So... Which UK racer, we're going to give away a NNRC hat from RC Haas. Which NNR, which UK racer made the IFMAR World Finals at the in Spain this year? Come on to all our UK guys. Someone who has no grip. Johnny Skidmore. Enter Chris Lovell. He wins an NNRC hat. Johnny Skidmore was the only uh, UK gentleman in the finals as well. His boots didn't make it. So Chris Lovell wins a hat. Bjorn wears a shirt. Let's, what, okay, here's a question for you. Lefty? Yes. You know Lefty, all the outside of the Outside of the Fuller's Little Bump FCJ, not sure who FCJ is. Oh, Frankie Contreras Jr.? Yes, I think we're all missing one top young driver, and I think he's he should be high up on his list than Little Bump and FCJ, and that's Taylor Suntag. Taylor Suntag. He's 15. He's doing well. He's winning. He's not winning. He's doing well in 10 scale. He's doing well in um, in in 8 scale as well. So I think he's doing well, and he's not being mentioned a lot. Uh, out of those three, I think if we should put him in that, there's four guys. The Fullers are kind of a little bit over. I think the Fullers are a little bit up further than those guys, and it's gonna be it's gonna be, be interesting to see what Contreras does when he gets out of SoCal. But I think a lot of people in that American are forgetting about um, are forgetting about Taylor Sontag. Yes, we are monitoring YouTube and Facebook. Facebook. Uh, Comments, they both come on her. I'm monitoring them. Our, our, the basement is monitoring them. And uh, yeah, Taylor has come a long way over the last few years. I watched him at the Masters of Dirt and he was really fast. And he's, you know, I know Taylor kind of in the beginning had a, you know, a, a tumultuous start because he was kind of rude and used to fuck off a lot of people. But he's is done he better now or what? Yeah, yeah, he doesn't. He's just cool, he's quiet. His, his, you know, he doesn't seem to lose his temper anymore. And he's, he doesn't look 15 either. He looks a lot older than 15. But uh, when people are mentioning him, mentioning top talent, I, a lot of people don't mention him. And he had a damn good year as well this year. Uh, you can give me, but let's, you know what? We're going to enter Eric because Eric has been asking me about this. So Eric gets entered into the spin the wheel. We never can get a prize delivered to him because he never gives me the right address. But Eric Lundville, it, to be honest. Eric Lundville, he can go. So we have another question. Why do you believe mate at Alejandro Serna? Why do you believe mate Mayfield left Mugen and why did he choose Techno over Mayako? Well, Jake, you mean as you're being bitterly honest today, go ahead. It's called US dollar bills. Dollar dollar bills. That's what it's called. So you think it's all just about money? No, he, well, I know. I know. Okay. I know. You N K N O W. Yes. Gotta get paid. 
Yeah, we all know that. Uh, we said yeah. it many times that Mugen didn't pay him much. We have an idea of what he wanted per month, and Techno paid it. Yeah. A lot of pressure, though, to win on both sides, on him and Techno right off the bat. They got to win. Google okay. Dion Sanders must be the money. Yeah, easy stuff. It's money. You guys have to understand that at that, that this level, these guys are racing for the same way if you went to a job if you had a job come up and it had a better it was more money you'd probably go there as well so it's just how it is all right jq uh we have any more we need some good questions or funny comments if you want to get entered into the into the wheel of fortune uh, we're taking some q a so keep asking her let's see if we can go back and see if oh, let me just who who is this lunatic who sent you a hundred dollars? Vicky Payne. Lunatic? That's Vicky Payne. That's Teddy Newland's uh, wife who takes care of me when I go to races and gives me coffee oh, okay, and makes yeah. bed and has internet. Yeah, I met them. And she's very nice to me. Thank you, Vicky. Thank you to Clinic RC for their support to helping me go to DNC as well. Wait, here's someone who needs to be entered into the contest, Bauman. Carson <laughs> Ringer. Ringer. Technos are still the ugliest 18 car. Okay, put him in twice there. Please, and you know what? You. Craig Homer, because did JQ show those girls his Dremel? I like that one. I'm a master with the Dremel. That you are. So we got Craig Homer. All right, so here we go. Wait, JQ's going to go in science mode. Corliss 116. JQ, what are the critical car setup adjustments to be made, on, to be made the team made for the world's track? For the world's track. Mm -hmm. Fuck the world's. How many months was that? <laughs> like, <laughs> Dude, I know ago. you can't even remember <laughs> yesterday. Yesterday, let me see. Yesterday was uh, Tuesday, was it? I yeah, actually I remember. So. Yesterday. yesterday was Wednesday. No, today's Wednesday. Is anyway, it? so what we did at the world's, let's just say mm -hmm. say what Ron Falk did, because I remember that. So you know how we have the offset on the rear. We can run a short arm with more offset or long arm with less offset. Ronnie Falk was running the short arm with a lot of offset. And me as a race engineer, I analyzed his driving. I looked at his car, I sat down, I went in science mode, and I told him, fucking put the long arm on with less offset. And he did, and it was better. Yeah, so that's one thing we did. Then he wanted steering. So I said, okay, go long on the steering link, shortest plate on the knuckle. He did that. It was a lot better. Uh, what else? Can't remember. Really can't remember. But we did some uh, some kind of magic, I know. Yeah. I'm surprised you remember that much, to be honest. Uh, yeah, there was Emerson a third thing that was a really good... Oh, wait. Almost remembered it just now. God damn it. Almost. I was close. Ah. Welcome to <laughs> now I remembered it. <laughs> so he was running the diff slow. And I'm like, you know what? This David, I love you, but please listen to me. Put a fucking shim under the rear gearbox. And he did, and it was better. So raise the rear diff. That was another thing. Yeah. Okay. So you know what? That person, they're getting put in the who answered that? Asked that question. Who sent him? It's Corliss one sixteen. You get entered into the wheel of fortune. You got that basement Bauman two. All right, all right. How much do you think Mayfield lost per year by being stuck with Mugen on the lower contract? <laughs> um, quite a chunk, well, to be honest. I don't know what his. Yeah, he did win a lot. I don't know what his contingency plan was like, but I think. I think like uh, two thousand dollars a month or something, maybe. Yeah, the average is out. Probably about that. Yeah, two three thousand dollars a month. Pat Finn, you're getting entered as well. Enter Pat Finn into Wheel of Fortune. Good question. What percentage of the heat in a nitro engine dissipated from the head, and what percentage is dissipated via the chassis? I have no idea. Anything <laughs> I say would be a lie. <laughs> that's that's what most people do though they say that's a good question that stumped you so pat know. finn gets in for stomping you okay pat finn you're in t 
Tim Emerson. We need to get some onesies for babies. You met, yeah, I, I met yours at RCGP. He must be growing. We need some swag for him. I know we need to get a lot of swag for a lot of things. Put Tim Emerson on the Wheel of Fortune. We're putting, we're putting people in the Wheel of Fortune, JQ. Come on. Let's go. You know what? Ken Calhoun, Mayako, FDW. He gets put on the Wheel of Fortune. Lefty, okay, so what, what's the chanceability that Lefty knows what FDW means? I know what it means. <laughs> Fuck the world. <laughs> no, it doesn't. I don't know. Not in this. <laughs> Well, I don't know what it means then. For the win. Oh, right? well, I like fucking sure world. Aye, aye, aye. Put that oh, my God. No, 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 no. Shut up. Magnus Berglund. I wrote my ex later for my own team. Too long to post her. You can read it her lefties. <laughs> he got his shirt, too. All right. Let's see. All right. Chemo RC. He had a question earlier. We're putting Chemo in because I think Chemo has a U.S. address. Salt is nephew. How's, Chemo how's RC. The who's the best driver for you at the moment? Look what happened again. Fucking thing. Get a new set of headset. Get a new headset, JQ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's the best driver? Mm -hmm. Wolanka. You must be on some sort of <laughs> psychedelic drugs or something like that. Did you go see a psychiatrist or something? It, it kind of looks like I've smoked weed. Someone just said that here. Jake, you smoked the fatty before the podcast. I haven't smoked anything except the competition. <laughs> the competition. Put me that in was there. Really, that was I want to. I want to win. All right. Um Danny pa thank you Danny Paz. I like your version of yeah, fuck the world. Best best guess. Oh, here we go. Gary Wright, best guess on how many F bombs JQ does in this podcast wins. I'm I'm already beat you with F bombs really? so far. Hey, he has a good one. Does JQ think he can beat the Ghani in the open class? So we're putting Austin Schaefer in because he's a boat racer too. Obviously, I can. So DNC, I'm open class. What's the rule? No sponsorship? Well, I'm not sponsored. Oh, right. God. There we go. So I'm going to race the open class at DNC. Watch him come up with a new fucking rule that he just made up with no <laughs> Oh, so I can't race. Okay, then what's, what's his face? The designer for TLR? Guess he can't race either. What's his name? Who? The designer for TLR. Uh, Dunford? Race, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry, Dunford, you can't race the open class. If I can't race, he can't race. That's it. Oh, we got well, a lot of questions here. The open class. What? We got a lot of questions sir. I missed it. Okay. Um... Chase Fries, Jason, will you go back to making some of your YouTube videos about tuning and car setup, or is it Discord and your invisible speed course from here on out? I have a few videos that I'll do, but more of more definitely on invisible speed and and uh, Discord. That's right, man. Buy the course or yeah. win one here today. Yeah, right, JQ. People should uh, if people want more videos. They should buy more courses. That's how I can justify making them and not. You know what? We're going to put Chase Fries. Fries? Fries? I think his name is Fries. I want to say Fries. Uh, but Ch Chase Fries, we'll put him on the Wheel of Fortune. Along with Donnie B, because he's got an awesomely bing. He's, he's like Serpent's last true warrior, JQ. This guy is Serpent through and through, has been for many years, and he's got a nice anodized blinged out car i like it a lot it's got a good you know YouTube channel like? too. oh god lord have i like this comment rob should get in all right he rob said, to invisible speed and i gotta say well done jq thanks <laughs> bauman put him in five times <laughs> <laughs> all right this, you know what rc hey 
wait, wait. The, this question, this triggered me. JQ, what are your preferred pronouns? You know what? This hat suits me right now. Preferred pronouns are ridiculous. Seriously. Oh, my God. That's next level. That's next level. Ridiculous. Lefty, what are your pronouns? Like asking someone what the... That is so stupid. So stupid. I have no idea even what you're talking about. Oh, my Good. I wish I didn't. This guy knows. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. <clears throat> Could RCGP not work as a regional event with several national series with the top four from each region progressing to a one-off round final at the end of the year for one one load of travel expenses? No, because that's not what RCGP is, but that's what uh, our federations, our fantastic federations, EFRA just recently spent countless hours designing a new logo, which really changed everything in the industry. Uh you know, feder federations like EFRA and IFMA and ROAR and all this, they should be doing that. They should work with the manufacturers and come up with a plan like, okay, you know what? Yeah, electric's really taking off, eight scale electric off road. That's brilliant. Everyone make cars to this sort of spec, price them at this range. We're going to promote this as a sort of entry level standard stock class. Everyone has to run the stock car. All the manufacturers uh, sell their version of the car. They're all sort of similarly priced everywhere around the world. We race this sort of basic, uh, fun event, right? Fun, make it fun, easy to access, easy to enter, focus on sort of new people to intermediate level people, run regional events, qualify for uh, international world champion championship event. Like this is what federations should do. In the past, I don't know if they still have it. I don't think so. But in the past, like Tamiya had their series with Tamiya cars. Uh, Kyosho had their series for the Pure 10 World Cup or whatever the hell it was called. I remember when I started, two Finnish guys won it in the Philippines or something. Like each country, the Kyosho distributor organized the race and then the winner qualified for some European final or something and then the World Championship final. Like this should be done. But it's not RCGP. No, it's a federation that ties all the manufacturers together instead of one manufacturer doing it for themselves. That's what we need to do. But is it ever going to happen? No. People are too fucking narrow-minded, selfish, and stupid. Yes. Oh, it's glad you finally showed up, JQ. 40, yeah. 53 minutes in, you've showed up. So you got yep. you got on your uh, uh, soapbox there. I knew that was going to trigger you at some some point. But uh, you know what? We got some UK guys here. It's getting late. We're going to give away some more UK. We got one more shirt, one more hat to give away. We got a Visible Speed online course to give away or book. And we got a kit to give away. So one more shirt giveaway. <clears throat> Who is the first UK IFMAR, sorry, UK EFRA European 8 scale fuel champion? We'll come back to you guys' questions in a minute. But we were putting out... To our UK European races, you will win a NNRC shirt, I believe. And you have to answer who is the first UK European eight scale national champion. Correct, Jonathan Wolf. Oh, actually, Jonathan Hooten got it first. Bloomfield. Night okay. 2013, he won it, right? 2012. I want to give something away now. Okay. It's not so my hold on, hold on. Uh, David Jonathan Hutton won the shirt. I believe he's in the UK. He has to be or Europe. So we're gonna have a. Are you gonna have a question and then you're gonna give away? What are I you have giving a question. Away? Book or a Is course? This, what do you want to do? Uh, let's do a book, and that way you could, you could just ship it in the UK. UK. Why the UK? Fuck the UK. UK they Europe. left Europe. It's more expensive. So Europe. I don't think we have many European guys in her. But anyway. No? Before they go to bed. Okay. This is relevant to Europe. So Mayako has actually done a secret signing. No one knows. Even I don't know. That's why I'm asking this question. Mm -hmm. So who has Mayako signed that is a European champion? In what class? That's not part of the question, is it? Mayako signed someone who is a European champion. 
and no one knows about it, including me. So who's the guy? And whoever knows this, or knows, but whoever guesses correctly wins an invisible speed book. But you don't know who it is, so how are you going to know who it guesses I'll it correctly? I'll pick the best answer. Okay, so he's a European champion. Put this guy in. Dakota Burnett. He answered <laughs> Tebow. Tebow is now a European champion. I want to I put him in. <laughs> okay. Geography is not his strongest suit. But, uh, that was anyway. funny. <laughs> no one is guessing. I don't even know who you're talking about. I have no idea who you're talking about. This is, you know what? We forgot. Okay. We also have Wait. To... So no one is guessing. So let's. Okay. Let's change this up. I wish we could do a poll. Who thinks that Lefty can get this question right? Everybody say yes. Because I can. Just uh, we'll take the first people to answer. Who thinks that Lefty can uh, get this right? The question is, Mayako has signed a European champion. Ah, Peko Ivanin. He got it oh right. My. Woo! Who was it? Uh, it was... Um, the hold comments on. are so fast. Where did it go? There. I didn't even think of Peko. I forgot it's a European champion in fifth scale. Oh, yeah. He is. Got me. That was a good one, JQ. That was a good one. Yeah, see? But how do we so, know who this person is? Bauman. I don't know. Me and Nira, you're going to have to message us. It might be his mom. No. That was a good one, JQ. Very good one. Probably a Very Finnish person. One. That's good. Hey, you forgot something, though. We have to We have to do one more giveaway for UK, and we're going to give away a kit as well. One more okay. hat. We got a PR kit from Rennick Model Tunes. That's right. So, Paco Minera, you won an Invisible Speed course or book. You need to contact us and let you know. Lefty, you should come yeah, to FRC. <laughs> oh, Finnish good. E even better. Even better. <clears throat> even better for you, JQ. Yeah. Where do you think Ongaro is going since he is with AKA Matrix? Oh, you know what? Oh, did you say it? I said it. Matrix. Yeah. Matrix. That was a good movie. Why did you mention a good movie now? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you mean Vary's big paw in front of a Matrix tire has nothing to do with it? Look at Vary. Oh, look at this. So inconspicuous. I have a Matrix off-road tire right here. If my big I didn't GD think about that. Hand. That's actually funny. So Vary, the very good mechanic from Italy, will mm -hmm. be sort of linked to Ongaro again. Mm -hmm. Retires because he's working at Matrix and now I'm gonna will run Matrix. Cool. All right. Curious so to see how gonna, those tires will be. We're gonna give away two more things in the UK and Europe. <clears throat> one more is a we've given away a hat, we've given away two shirts. We gotta give away one more hat. You know, before you give anything away, I'm gonna give something away. Okay. You know how is we this... always say that people don't know the backstories, so it makes things more boring in a mm -hmm. sense, or makes things less interesting. Here's something interesting. Oh, boy. Hot Race and Matrix, they're enemies, both Italian enemies. They don't like each other, right? Mm -hmm. So what's going to be interesting now is watching the dynamic at the races and who beats who. Not really car brands, but tire brands. So who is mm -hmm. running Hot Race? Who is running Matrix? Because you know that those guys... Those brands, they really want to beat each other. And it's worse than like uh, JQ and Techno or Mayako and Techno because I don't really care about Techno, you know? Like I don't hate them. I don't know. Maybe they hate me. I don't know. I never really. I think they do actually, to be honest. You think? I think they decide. Yeah, I, I think they do. But I, I don't have that. So it's not mutual. But there with Hot Race and Matrix, it's mutual. They really want to see each other fail and they want to win so that's going to be interesting to follow and see next year so what you're trying to say is you think that the real rivalry we're going to have is coming out of the tire companies 
Yes. And I would say JC it. and Hot Race in, in America, too, would be a big thing. And and you have to throw them in TZO now if signing like Co and all that type of stuff. So, yeah. yes, we shall it's be watching the time. AKM Wars. Proline are kind of uh, exiting racing, <clears throat> it seems. Mm-hmm. Like you never see them really in Europe anymore. And I don't know about America. I agree with you. So we have to follow yeah. these tire wars extremely careful next year. JQ, yeah. we're going to give away one more shirt. And this is actually a non-UK question. How many years has Robert Battier driven from Yugen? Oh, my wife's here. Hello. Como tu estas? Uh-oh. She's not her in the actual building. Then I would be extremely nervous because she'd be taking <clears throat> Nigel Winkley. He wins. You win an NNRC shirt. 12 years. Correct. Correct. All right. So I think we should give away this kit that <clears throat> Andrew Rennick so kindly gave to us to give away this year. This year on our Christmas show. We greatly appreciate that. I say this while Jerry Smokers messaging me he's all excited about something is he excited about chicken man racing again maybe yeah he's like wait we've been racing you know how i saw a video of him driving a a mayako who uh i saw a video of somebody driving a mayako too but nobody will let me leak it jay smoker Mm. this person that i saw also's name begins with ahota so uh we have a prize from Andrew Rennick of Andrew of Rennick's Model Tune in Ireland, UK, the official distributor of Mayako Corsa Tech, PR Racing Ultimate, Pro Circuit, Nitro Lux, and European distributors of Pro Tech servers. Uh, Andrew, I've known him for quite a few years. You've known him for many years. Small, quaint shop there in Ireland. Uh, I asked him to donate something. He donated a PRS1 version, uh, the VR, V4RFM, sorry. And uh, he is, this is their, the PR two-wheel drive buggy from PR Racing. And My wife thinks I'm handsome. She's talking about me, not you. Um, she gave me this hat to wear. Thank you. So, <laughs> by the way, our thumbnail was pretty badass. You as a little oh, yeah. young Grogu. Yeah. Me as the inspiring Mandalorian that I am. Uh, really great. So this question is actually really easy. And if you don't get this, then I I, I think you guys should, uh, should, I don't know, like reassess your RC history. Okay, super easy. It's a Neo question. Who has won the most Neos and how many has he won? This is for UK guys, by the way, or European guys. And this is for a PR racing two-wheel drive kit from Renix Model Tune out of... Nope, 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 nope. Oh, you know what? Toby Hansen actually gets it, but he doesn't in live in. Yeah, but he has a UK address. Oh, he does. Yes, he does, because he still has family in the UK. And you know what? I couldn't think of a better person to win this than Toby Hansen, because it's Jared Tebow. Mister Neo has won this race six times. Six times. That's a hard race to win six times. Congratulations, Toby Hansen. Keep your head up. Uh, we need your UK address to ship that to. I don't know how you're going to get it after that. But that's our part done. Thank you to Renix Model Tune for their support as well. We greatly appreciate them coming on. They've uh, been some... What question was that? Okay, I'm just reading what Bowman's typing me in the in the documents here. My brain's going all over the place. Congratulations, Toby Hansen. Congratulations. And congratulations to Tebow. Uh, he was looking really fast in that spy video that I saw of him. No, hey, nobody messaged me and try to get this footage from me. I've been sealed. Hi. It's been sealed. Oh, yes. Sorry, but we had to mute you. I'm pretty sure my wife's going to ask me about these girls now. It's going to play over and over until you shut up. 
Well, now my wife's gonna be like, well, why is JQ in love with all these girls? And I know you was around there somewhere. And I'll be like, I was at home asleep. Okay. Yeah, so buy a Mayako or continue with the same car and sign with the Invisible Speed course. You buy a Mayako and the course. That's how you do it. <laughs> you know what? And Joe, he actually lived in Bermuda for a little bit. So we're putting him in the chat. We're putting him in the Wheel of Fortune if he's still living in Canada. Because <laughs> if he's not, uh, we can't ship to you. Turby says, my mom can build and race now. There you go. Uh, yeah, Derek, Derek, man, busted. Probably, you're probably going to be asked about these, uh, this, this video right here that JQ has taken and sent to me at two o'clock in the morning while I was asleep. Soundly asleep. All right. Um, let's have some more questions here to get into our wheel of fortune as well. You know what? We're putting Aaron J. Helen Jenner just because I just watched. Oh, look, hold on. I'm getting distracted. I just watched. The Come Drive of Us episode the other day. Of which one? Okay, enough of these fucking prizes, okay? Pick a topic. Let's talk about something. I fall asleep. Okay? Enough prizes. All right, Don't well, let's minute. talk about the future of 2023, JQ. Um, what are... So, obviously, we're looking forward to DNC. And... That's coming up shortly. It's gonna be here very soon. Not so, not yeah. it's not too far away. I mean, end of February is here. It's our first big race. We got Montpellier in between that. We got SIC in between that. Uh, I think let's talk about. We already talked about RCGP SJ in the beginning. Uh, big race DNC this year. I think uh, bigger than most years. I think we're gonna see a lot of people from around the world coming just because a lot of people. Everything's free now. I mean, not saying everything's freed up. I'm not saying that it wasn't last year, but there was still some this year. Sorry, there was still some ifs and ands about travel and whatnot like there. But I think DNC this year is going to be packed. I think it's going to be banging. What are your thoughts on it, Jakey? What are your thoughts on 2023 period for the RC world? Uh, DNC is the next race that sort of that I'm going to. I would say. I think, yeah, Montpellier is the first race that uh, the team is going to. So Robert's going to be there at Montpellier. I'm not going. Mm -hmm. uh, Adrian will be there. Robert races Corsa Tech also. So that's going to be the first big race of the year to follow. Um, DNC, the first big race for Ronnefark. Robert's also going to be there. I'm going there to uh, either race 40 plus or open. So that's going to be fun. I'll be there. I think a lot of Europeans will go. I don't think Ongaro is going. I don't think he likes to go there because probably because he doesn't win. Uh, but maybe this uh, new Matrix signing changes that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to wait and see. I'm curious to see uh, Mayfield with Techno. Uh, I think that that track, how it develops and that race, the Techno should be okay. We shouldn't have any issues there. Um, I think if, like the Worlds, that could be a situation where maybe he would struggle, you know, the one Worlds, that kind of track. But how the DNC is, I think, Mayfield's going to be good. I'm sure he'll prepare a lot, practice and test a lot before the race. Uh, what else is interesting? I the goal. I mean, the goal is pretty simple at DNC. I mean, Mayako needs to win that race, basically. So, Nitro buggy win, electric buggy win. That's the goal. So it's it's that simple. No pressure or anything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we had a few people ask about SIC because that's the first big race in America. Oh, I think uh, it depends. He just lost his thing. Lost his yeah, well, cord again. Um, depends who's going. I think, oh, man, until somebody steps up and beats Ryan Mayfield or, or 
or or fan at these races, it's not it's hard not to pick these two guys all the time. Wonderful. And I'm at S I C S I C, and that's happening S-I-C. in January. Who cares? So, there's no coverage. There might be this year. Really? Uh, blah, blah, blah. let's go through some of these questions. Ah, S J Chanta, let's talk about e buggy worlds. So, is this official or yet or not? I, I I thought they had the meeting or were supposed to have the meeting back when we were in Brazil, but I haven't heard mm-hmm. anything. So if I was supposed to have their meeting a week or two ago, set everything, set the dates for the 2024 Worlds, like location dates, Nitro off-road, and then also uh, set the eight-scale electric Worlds, which I hear are supposed to be in in uh, Barcelos, that IBC mm-hmm. track, Euros track of this year. And it's supposed to be in, I think, October, was it, or something? Mm-hmm. Yeah, September, October or something. And they would have their IBC race in July, so that would kind of act as a warm-up, I suppose. We shall see. As Raw, as, as we know, it will be the last minute, we know. RC Jars, you're getting put in this as well. Bowman, let's put RC Jars, Robert Parente, and uh, SJ, we can't put you because it's USA rounds only. And Adam Ross, they all go in the Wheel of Fortune. RC Jars, Adam Ross, Robert Parente, EKJ24000, Richard Hess, which is adding people. Uh, this is a good question coming from e- EKJ24000, who just had a great chat with Jeff Keaton. Jeff Keaton gave you some props too, by the way, uh, Joseph. Really? What did he say? He said that you've taught him some stuff. How? Yeah, when it comes to setup, he believes in what you say. Well, yeah, because I say the right things. <laughs> he asked, do you all think the signing of Robert Battier will push David Ronald to be better or vice versa? I think uh, they'll want to beat each other no matter what, and then they'd want either other to finish second. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, I think it will help. I think it will uh, help to push David. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. I think he'll step it up and be like, okay, now I got to step it up a little bit to continue to be number one, even though I still think he'll be number one on that team. Sorry, Robert. I know we have a bromance, but, uh, you know, my bromance with Ronald Falk is much longer, much stronger. All right, let's go through some of these questions. Um, Miles Lane, JQ, are you going to let JQ beat you at DNC again in 2023? Yeah, I don't have no wires break. JQ, are you going to let JQ beat you? That's what you said, Lefty. So, no, I'm not going to let Drake beat me. Hopefully, we can race the same class. If he's racing pro, it's not going to work. You know what, Miles Lane? You get put in the Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. Miles the reason Lane. he beat me was because my extension wire broke. I'm very mad about that. Kakalapin, which big open race is the best to attend as a normal driver next year? Um, Are, are we talking American or European? I would say... He said American. best race. So best race to attend, then it has to be in Asia or Europe. Open race. Oh, Philippine yeah, Masters yeah. would be good to op- to go to. Yeah, that could be good. End of April. Yeah, Philippine Masters. If you're looking for convenience, Silver State. <clears throat> um, and I'm in Europe. I don't know, man. Open race. That's Buggy where land in Europe. Pretty easy. Yeah, access. Buggy Land. Good race. How about uh, Biddy Design, Biddy Race? Is that coming back out? Uh, they don't do it anymore. Okay. Okay. Is Brazil definitely hosting the next Nitro World? That's unknown either as well. Nobody knows. Not even the Brazilians. What are your thoughts on the worlds being held at hobby action, 10 scale worlds? I think it's a I think it's cool. Uh it's a great facility. I hope to make it to this race. Uh I think uh they've held many big races, so 
Why not have the world's? I think it's easy for people to get to. They can fly into LAX and drive over. It's a four hour drive. I think people will be fine. <laughs> Mr. Meaty Pence, why won't associated spend money on drivers? Ooh. Don't they? They have. They have like a billion drivers. Yeah, they have so many. Yeah. So they many. Are spending money. Um, and they have people in waiting in the background. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So don't really see them having to maybe they want to have somebody who can do eight scale a little better but i think the focus will be fully 10 scale this year <clears throat> why did tebow switch teams well i think uh techno let him go so that's why and he has to find another company which we do not know about yet Right, JQ? <laughs> Lefty trying to fish for inf information. It's I am. I am. JQ, All what right. companies um, are fanboys and what companies are fanboys? Okay. okay. Question. This is like a lefty question. You know? I <laughs> you guess know what he means. I guess he means what companies are fanboys and what companies are champions going into 2023, right? Yes. Well, is it time for another blog pissing off the industry? <laughs> Why not? Why not? Maybe not. You know what? I actually know this is what I have to say about this question. Loading. <laughs> yeah, that's my answer. <clears throat> okay. All right. Mr. High Octane 8, you get put in there just for answering this, asking this. Well, when's Javid's favorite vehicle, e truck releasing from Mayako? Mr. High Octane 8, you get put into the Wheel of Fortune. There we go. JQ, answer this man's question. Who? Oh, my gosh. When's <laughs> JQ's favorite vehicle, e truck releasing from Mayako? I don't know. These members, my Yako members, we have, they're such a nuisance already designing truggies, like making chassis and towers and stuff, you know? Like there's literally like a Mayako truggy already. Completely sort of, uh, what's the word? Open source, user-generated content. I did see members that. Members have made a Mayako truggy. So they're really forcing it on us, aren't they? Well, I mean, this so we'll is your specialty. To... You are a truggy specialist. And yeah, I would so we're going to have to make a, a Mayako truck. Yeah. But, I mean, I thought that truggy or truck couldn't get any worse. I thought that this is horrible. I hope it dies a gruesome death, this class. And then they made those stupid, bruggy bodies. So, basically, you're running an oversized buggy now. They're very confusing. It is the stupidest thing ever. If you're going to run a stupid class, don't make it extra stupid by not having some rules. Like, have some rules to force people to run a truck body. Otherwise, it makes no sense. Stupid. They do really. look kind they of... Don't look like, they... they don't look anything like a truck anymore. They look like if you a just, buggy with big Exactly, wheels. I would agree. When you Stupid. when you look out there and now you look, you have to look two times to make sure it's Truggy running and not buggy. Yeah, it is the most stupid thing since Truggy was invented. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's almost like someone tried really hard to think, how can we make Truggy even more stupid? I know, <laughs> let's put a buggy body on it. Yes, and let's race that. Yes, it jumps so much better. Who gives a fuck how it jumps? It's a truggy. <laughs> no one should give a shit. <laughs> but we're talking e truggy. So I love e truggy. E even worse. Even worse. No, no. E truggy is awesome. Chase McCullough, do you recommend the Invisible Speed? He asked about the Invisible Speed book for a uh, sportsman driver, JQ. Yes, I think it's for all levels. You know, before I answer that question, I was I was just thinking that I'm not much of a fascist, even wearing this hat, not much of one. But I think anyone who like promotes and runs and endorses e-truggy, 
I think they should be sterilized. <laughs> um, to be completely honest. Like, because the world is going to shit, you know, we can't really have more people like that in the world. Etrog is so, awesome, though. It's I so good. The most sort of human. You can sterilize me. I've already had two kids. I don't need to have any more. The most humane thing awesome. would just be to sterilize those people. <laughs> you know? Chase McCullough, answer his question, please. What was the question? Do you recommend the Invisible Speed book for a sportsman driver? Do you recommend a sportsman driver to watch or get your book? Well, I would recommend that a sportsman driver doesn't watch the book because um, you have to get the book and read it or watch the videos in the course. But Would you suggest the videos right now or the book? Reading or, the videos um, and watching the book, that gets uh, tricky. I think if you have to choose between one and you are sort of a sportsman driver, then I would recommend the course over the book. The reason is that the book contains more of the sort of more advanced setup knowledge. So you can drive well already. You, are, you can feel what the car is doing and you, are, you want to understand more. Then the book is very good for that. The course will help you no matter what skill level you are. If you're just learning to drive or learning about racing lines or learning about the basics of the car, all of that's in the course. It's not in the book. So there you go. If you have enough self-awareness, you can place yourself on the scale from, you know, I'm a noob, I'm a sportsman, or I don't know very many things about RC car racing. I'm going to get the course. Uh, if you think you have a good bit of knowledge, then yes, the course is still good because it's visual, but the book is, yeah, I would say equally good because you can read it over and over and you can really understand what's happening with the car. Okay. So All there right. you go. You know what? We're going to put some names into the wheel of fortune here because you went on a truggy rat and then uh, invisible speed rat for quite some time. <clears throat> We're going to put, uh, we got Charlie Mack, Matt Wofford. What's up, Matt Wofford? We're going to put you in there. Jimmy Kincaid. We got Marcus in there. Let's put Matt Castle in there. J Charlie Mack says he's going to fight you at Silver State, JQ. He won't Charlie be there, Mack. unfortunately. Why is that? I don't know, because you don't like Truggy. Charlie oh, Charlie Mack. He's going to fight me because he's about to get uh, sterilized or what? <laughs> he's an he's e guy. He is gonna slap you so hard. Here's a question for Michael for Michael Cook for Jacob Lefty. Do you think one or do you think one of the RC federations could partner with a full scale motorsport league like IndyCar in America? It would be a great TV event to have an RC race during the weekend. Not. No, I think the RC federations can just about design a new logo, and that's about it. That's it. They're useless. <laughs> Not at the way we race now. They can't, can't even that... come up with a race calendar. Figure out where to go racing. No, they can't do it. What's up, Orsini? The guys from Rio de Janeiro. I really like Brazil. I want to go back there. Um, we need to put... So what? this is... Okay, get this. Get this. Okay. This is just an example. Um. You know what? Fuck it. I don't even. Really, I don't even want to go there. You know you what? You don't I want to say? No. Why does it not load properly? You need. We need to have it saved here. On the oh, uh, brand. Anyway, let's put ah, in a yeah, few I, more people. I know. I, Bauman can do it. Mm -hmm. He needs to upload it. On, Danny see. Hepler, D70 Racing's going in. Uh, Matt Wofford, Matthew J. Forget as well. These guys are all going in, and let we'll let Wofford, we'll we'll take a few more names. A couple more questions here, guys, and then we're gonna we're gonna go five more minutes of questions, and then we're gonna start doing some giveaways. We've given away all the UK prizes so far, so let's put in DJ Hepler, Danny Hepler, D70 Racing. 
one eight RC cars because I know he has a USA address. Anything else you would like to rant about while we're on it, JQ? Get on your soapbox and. Well, that's one. If anyone can come up with a good rant topic, they'll be put in five times. <laughs> like you, okay. you definitely need help ranting. All right, uh, who else? Who we got? Um, hey, I already put the put Tebow in. Tebow knows which car he's racing. <laughs> it's a lawnmower. Oh gosh. <laughs> when Drake announcing he's gonna attack no Drake isn't leaving Mugen. We're gonna put Tim Whip Whitcomb in as well. Any gifts for Latin America? If you have a USA address, you can get it. We're trying to fill up the wheel. I don't know how many names we've got. Kevin Thompson can go in there. Where can we hear J JQ's baby carrot story? Well, he said that quite a few times. I've told that story before. A few times. Today. Hi, hi. I haven't talked to it once you... What? Uh, can I say it on there or... No. If you have to ask me, sure? then you probably can't say it. Well, I mean, run the drill. Okay. I won't say. Did I lose lose sound or lose lefty? No, we're here. I'm just oh, looking at uh yeah, yeah, I'm just looking at uh comments here, trying to see if uh Bauman's all caught up. You can we add some more names in there? Let's add Paul Rodman. He's been on her steadily. What's up, Paul? Now Paul's a bastard. Oh my gosh. Him. Get him out. Done. No, not videoing anybody. Carlton Vogel, he's a young Canadian. What's the next stop for JQ? Techno, of course, when Mayako is done with him. <laughs> he's going in just for that. Carlton Vogel, he's going in just for that. That was ballsy. I don't know. I don't know what was ballsy about that. I like it. It made me laugh. That's all I needed to know. Uh, Put the coach in, and then we're gonna we're gonna we got two minutes. You guys gotta say something funny, ask a crazy question, and then we got two minutes, and then we're gonna start uh, doing some draws here. Can we get course attack in America? Yes, you can. Actually, I actually think I agree with you, Pat Finn. NNRC is ver is very influential and got raw president elected. Now you need to get a new Ifmar president elected. What do you think about that, JQ? Yeah, we should get an IFMA president elected. What's the current guy doing? Jeff Parker, probably yeah. on his phone. Um, oh, put yeah. my boy Kevin Mendes in as well. What's up, Kevin? We got 50 seconds left. Oh, here's a good one. Why pivot ball are so much difficult to drive than C hubs? They aren't. It's the rear hub on the current pivot ball cars makes the car turn when you get on power. It's not good for most people. So the pivot ball is actually good. Makes the front end sort of more numb, calm. Um, but it has a bit more steering mid corner, and you combine that with the rear end they have, and that's what makes it hard. Yeah. JQ, Jeff Keaton said you didn't have to kick him off the podcast because he outranted you. I didn't I haven't listened to that part of the podcast yet. Uh but I, I haven't you, kicked him off. No, Jay, he's not been kicked off. No. SJ Chandler, who's the hardest person beside yourself, JQ, to deal with? It could be brand, driver, owner. Maybe you're right. I'm not hard to deal with at all. I'm actually one of the easiest guys to deal with, I think. You can ask anyone. They, uh, they'll they agree. Um, the hardest person to deal with in RC? I don't know. 
I don't deal with anyone. JQ. Uh, rant topic. How many times will Fen fend himself trying to win the 10-scale worlds? How old is he? 25, 26. Okay, so another 10 years of that. Jesus. Another decade of fending coming up. Jesus, you're so savage today. All right, that's it. One minute, one hour, 30 minutes. Bowman, do we have all the names in there? How many, how many names do we have in there? Maybe we need some more. I know. Why don't you take the list of all the people who can win that Invisible Speed car build? Everyone who bought the Invisible Speed online course in October, they have a chance of winning a car built by David Ronefart or Robert. Originally, Robert was with Mugen, and it would have been Mugen. Sorry, no chance. Now you get a Mayako, and you can uh, decide who get who builds it, Ronefart or Robert. Oh, so are we doing? Are we are we doing that first? No, take those. David Bauman has the list. He can put all those guys in with this also, so they have a chance of winning. Something yeah, but that's it, it's Why it's not? hard if 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 the European. This is mostly all American based stuff. So if they don't have a U.S. address, it's not getting shipped to them. Okay. So this is all for American. Let's put Brent Corin, Matt Harrison, and I think we have Case Edwards in there as well. JQ, what's the worst track you've ever raced on? Craig Homer. Oh, we have a the Keenan worst. thought Brady. He sucks right now. He needs to retire. <laughs> um oh. Tom Brady. Here we had a few people ask this. Sorry. Thoughts on the Agama. I didn't answer that worst track. Okay, worst track. I can't remember. But I know it must have been some carpet track. Or Astro or some bullshit. Just fucking use dirt. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, we're going to put two more names in there. Jacob Barrett. He asks, should he retire or keep going? I don't know, man. He should retire. I don't know. He's not looking too sharp out there. Talking about Tom Brady. Eric Sersano. What's up, Gen Zays? All right. JQ, thoughts on Agama N1? It's production. It's releasing soon. What are your thoughts on it? Well, uh, I've said it before. Um, my thoughts are that mostly they're going to struggle. But they have a flat carpet track as their home track, so they're going to be good around there. But I'd like to see them at DNC or other races like that. It will be fun and interesting. And I... I'm happy that they did something different, but I'm just wondering about the extent of their testing. Okay. What but happened to your one tenth video you said you was working on, JQ? I'm still working on it. I think uh, it's like that one Guns N' Roses album. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about, but it's probably never been finished. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, yeah, still working on it. Got a couple of cars there. Got all my photos and notes and everything. I just haven't done the video. Just can't can't seem to get it done. All right. So what are, we're going to do some drawing her. It's, one thir it's a one hour and 34. What are we drawing for her first, Bowman? Are we drawing for the Mayako? I mean, for the invisible speed thing or for for us? Because I'll go through the prizes we can go through. All right. So first up, we're going to be giving away a set. Hey, wait. Wait, what? before that, what is this about? I don't know. Is Jake you shy about going to Waffle House? I don't know what Jake's talking about. <laughs> I don't know. Either. Yes, you play guitar. <laughs> So we got quite a few prizes to give away here. Let's um let's start off big. Let's give away a Sampadal USA 10 scale onward battery pack. It's actually two battery yeah, packs. I saw a funny one. Hottest girl in RC. Oh yeah, I did see that. Who that said that? Exist. There's no hot girls in RC. 
Uh, track goggles. Track goggles. Goggles. <laughs> yeah. You said goggles. Because it's not like you said gargoyles, but you really no, said goggles. 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 Let's get that right. All right. So we're giving away us. Uh, this is for US only. If you have a US address, you know what? We're going to put a few more names in there. Rick Harrison, we're going in there. Jake Stike Leathers going in there. We'll put Kim in there. Hopefully he has a uh Kim Lundegren. We met him at the Worlds. Hopefully he has a US address. And JV, he's from uh SoCal. My girlfriend moves the lawn at our track. That's hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. James Keaton. Put me in shit. I'm a track owner. Fuck everybody. All right. This is the last people we're putting in. Thomas Akar, James Keaton, Joe Laws. Then we're going to draw uh, a Sumpadal on road two, two batteries. You got two battery packs here. So, Actually, put this guy in. Can JQ be made host for an episode? I would actually like that. I would be the host. I would read the ads and everything. That would be a fucking. That would be your most downloaded episode, left. <laughs> you'd be. You'd be me. You'd be the co-host. I'd be the host. I'd have. I'd set the rules. Read the ads. Smack you around. Tell you what to do. Interview guests. Yeah. Yeah. I think I That's need another rum and coke. That's a good idea, actually. Put him in, Bauman. Andrew Morales. Make sure he wins. Oh, people shouldn't know this is rigged. Oh, hey, dude, check this out. I got a body in today. Evan Vale. I forgot to show wow. this. He painted. This is a That's old... your paint? Yeah, well, this is the colors that I'm going for. So basically, you can't see it. But Evan Vale, I gave this to him at uh, at RCGP. It's the old school e-buggy body. It's for the white car up there. <clears throat> and it's just perfect, the colors that I want. And it's got yeah. ghost skulls in the back. Oh, he's such a badass painter. So good. Yeah, it's good. Who's the biggest cheat in RC? Oh dear. Ah oh, man. Masami was some, pretty big at cheating. Some will say you. Masami, I've really heard like a lot of shit and uh Kulari. Probably Drake though. <laughs> no reaction, you're not listening. For me? What are you doing? I knew you was gonna say that. <laughs> I'm making a drink. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so can we get done with these prizes now? So we can All right. Home. So we're going to give away a 10 scale Sumpadal USA battery pack. Two batteries, 4,000 uh, MAHs, 55 MA, 5,500 MAHs. Who's going to win this? <clears throat> I have to pee. Y'all mellow. Y'all, you, you won two batteries. I think you're in Canada. If you're in Canada, you can get it. If you have a Sounds if you're not in Canada, you have a US address, you can get it. Hit me up, please. Y'all mellow. Thank you to Sam Padal for that. <laughs> People are going crazy when you told them no Masami. JQ, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. You take over for a second, okay? Well, what's the next prize? Uh, pick. We have plenty. They're on the Google documents. We have plenty of prizes. To I don't from. look at that shit. You don't look at anything. All right, we're gonna give away a high tech RCD DB seven seven eight ten scale servo. Ten scale servo. This is next. Okay, spin the wheel, dude. It's in. It's all in German. Can the same person win? multiple things i don't think so but they can go in we're gonna have a final draw at the end i think oh god it's my friend charlie mac charlie mac won a high tech db 778 10 scale servo congratulations charlie mac jq go to the go to the the thing all right we're Wait, gonna give away a oh set of tzo 200 tires email? and i'll be right back okay go go lefty is going to be i'll be host for 30 seconds so tzo 200 tires going to carson ringer good job carson 
we have some grip now. What else? Do we, what else? What else can we uh, win? There were two sets, maybe. What? Rick Harrison wins something else. Nice spelling there, Bauman. Harrison. I'm pretty sure his name isn't Harrison. What did he win? TZO ties also? Bauman, check the list. Did we have two sets? I'm not on the list. I'm not on Google Documents. I don't do documents. I'm on my holiday right now. No spreadsheets for me. Uh, what else is on there, Bauman? Write in the private chat. You know what? what ST, you win a prize oh. just for being sneaky. What did Rick Harrison won? Oh. Uh, I, were there two sets of TZO tires? We have three to give away. Okay, so one more, one more set of TZO tires then. Let's let's give them away to ST yeah, Rick, just because it's come. Oh, oh, okay, great. yeah, good idea. Good to speed this up a bit. So Rick TZO tires, ST TZO tires, and the first guy, whoever the hell that was, Charlie Mack. Carson Ringer was someone else. Ringer, yeah, Ringer. Okay, four sets, says Bauman. No, Not it's three. only three. No, only it's three. only three. Lefty knows. Okay, next thing. Come on. We're going to give away a TZO tire bag. Rick Ross. Sorry, Adam Adam Ross, Ross out of Canada. Congratulations. He Canada. always wins something. Always wins something. Canada. All right, we got three... TZO wings to give away. Three TZO wings. Who's the lucky, lucky, lucky one? Man, that, that aqua teal TZO wing looks great. I really want one. Brandon Corin. Congratulations. He can he is sponsored by TZO. He can just go get it from Nick. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Perfect. <laughs> Let's give away another wing. Spin the wheel of fortune. You mean Brent Corrin? Brent Corrin. Yes. Chase Fries. He asked a lot of questions. Very good. You win a TZO wing. One more wing to give away. Who will win a lucky TZO wing? Jake, have you figured out what you're giving away yet? Uh, wasn't it the course? Joe Laws. Wow. He won and he was just a track owner. Congratulations. You got a TZO wing as well. Thank you to TZO for all their support. Uh, we have some tire. We have tires, a tire bag, and three wings to give away. Thank you, Nick, for all of that. And congratulations uh, with TZO and good with their signing co Ogden and good luck to them in the upcoming year. All right, JQ, let's give away some G-Spec RC tuning stuff. So we've got one midnight cable 4S charge lead, 4 millimeter to 5 millimeter bullet connectors. Thank you to Geoff. I think his name's Jeff, but I say Geoff. It sounds better. And uh, it's probably wrong how I say his name, but that's fine. The coach, Coach Tizel, T Nigel Tonzen wins a cable. A charging cable, 4S chair charging cable. He can use that for his uh, starter box, I would assume. <clears throat> Let's give away another Ghost Cable Series. The Balance Charge Lead 4mm to 2S Balance Connector from G-Spec RC Racing, RC Tuning. What? Charlie Mack wins again? No, no. You can't win no, twice. No, no. Charlie Mack, we're spinning again. You can stay in there, but everybody can stay in for the final draw. But if you won already, no. No, no, he's all excited too. Tim Withcomb, you win a charge cable. Congratulations. Uh, we're going to give away one hex driver set as well from G Spec RC Tuning. So let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's see who got win wins that. Thank you, uh, David, doing a great job down there in the basement. Season's greetings to you. No, the hex, the hex set wasn't, is it? 
No, the hex set is Corliss one one turny. I guess that's turny Corliss. No, we're keeping everybody in. We know who won because we're going to do a final draw at the end for a big prize, and everybody's going to be included in that. What are you doing, Bowman? Who's this for? Oh, for the nut driver Just set. Okay. Ken Calhoun, he will win the the uh, nut driver set from G Spec RC Tuning. Thank you. Well, we got a lot more stuff to give away here. All right, let's go to our 10 scale off road battery packs from Sun Pedal. So, you're going to get two batteries, 4000 mAh and 54 mAh for your off road needs from Sun Pedal USA racing batteries, four millimeter bullets. Remember, that's two battery packs, one win. Let's go. Let's see who wins this. We got the Brazilians in there. Benga, benga. Ooh, Eric won it. I hope it gets delivered to Eric. Eric, congratulations. You win the 10 scale off road batteries, the 4K and 5400. I'll change that for you, Bowman. The one up above that one, actually. <clears throat> so, y'all won the on road, and Eric won the off road. Congratulations. Uh, we're going to give away some. Well, no, the T-shirts, <laughs> we only have large XL and 2XL. So if you don't fit in one of these, we're going to give you a hat. Uh, Ardent imprints, hopefully it's a large XL or 2XL shirt. It's going to be hard with these sizes. I know. Everybody in RC is big. Miles Lane, he looks like a, I think I've seen him before on Facebook. He looks like a large XL guy. So he'll get an Ardent and an RC uh, T-shirt. Let's give away another T-shirt this time for 2X to 2XL. You guys are going to have to give me a choice. We're giving away three T-shirts. If they don't fit, you're going to have to put them up on your wall. Chris Lovell. No, he's in England. I'll have to bring him one. He already has one. All right. Third shirt. We could get one from... Let's take Chris Lovell out of there because he's in England. I didn't want to ship to England. One more shirt. What if the hat doesn't fit? Well, I know how that feels as well, Charlie Mack. I really do. Benjamin J. Well, he's already won something, so. But we'll give him another shot. Actually, it's the people that donated the idea, the prizes to the podcast that ship out ekj twenty four thousand. he wins a ardent imprint t-shirt ekj is a xl i think so that's Corey. we're going to give away <clears throat> two hats as well we have a red and white one and a gray and white one invisible speed so let's spin that wheel Fuck. joey fisher Wow, he doesn't even wear hats. But Joey won one. Yes, I know it's global. We did some European and UK only giveaways earlier. And uh, that's how it is. We, we When people give us a uh, product to give away, they ask us to do it just in America. That's where we're going to do it. Uh, one more hat. One more hat. And hopefully somebody who's going to use it wins it. What's the big prize? We have... Of course, we have a big call RC giveaway as well. We have lots and of stuff. What's we the have... biggest prize that you can win? Uh, actually, I think it's the call RC stuff. Uh, that's what I'm going to win then. No, it's only for America, so you can't win it. I'm American. Yeah, all right. Uh, who did we win the hat? Okay, so Mr. High Octane. Whoever you guys are, please just contact me. Uh afterwards say what you won as well even though i have it on her all right two house of rc memberships this can be for everybody spin the wheel two right away this is this is universal oh robert parente norcal he wins one membership let's spin that wheel right away
Vicky Payne. I know she's not going to use that, but she gets a free membership to House of RC. All right. Uh, we already gave away the RC Racing Hall stuff. Um, let's give away some lugs tires. So we got two sets. We got uh, four sets of tires to give away here. We got all Truggy tires. We got two sets of soft slides and eight scale buggy tires, white wheels. Let's see who's going to win that. Tim Emerson. Very well. Very good. You win yourself a set of white slides. Next up for another set of white slides, they will be. Matt Castle, Matt Castle, sorry, S, that's C-K-E-S-L, K-E-S-L, congratulations, Matt Castle, no, I'll, I'll fix it, Bowman, JQ, you're supposed to be talking while I'm doing this, and you're doing nothing, talking, are we done you're with doing- the prizes? No, we have a few more prizes. These is your one miserable. miserable hey, side. did I win something? Look, it's on my name. No. That was a random spin. You won a chance to talk. No, th- what do you mean random? I finally win, and then you don't give me anything. Because it was for nothing. It's a scam. It's stolen. Like the election in America. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. We definitely need to get you off. Um, We have a set of blue... Extra soft slides on white wheels. Let's spin the wheel. Donnie B gets himself a set of tires. Oh my God, I spilled my beer. There you go for being rude. That's what you get. All right, let's go. We're going to give away two more high-tech servers. So we're going to give away one of the new 95T, 951Ts for eight-scale racing. Who's going to win this? Who's going to win this? James Keaton. Wow, Charlie Mack almost won another servo. Charlie Mack, you lucky duck, you. And we're going to give away one more DB778. And that's it. And then we're done. No. Oh, Paul Rodman, congratulations. You won a new... T- I saw you doing some 10 scale racing earlier this weekend. So, perfect for you. Oh, we have some Clinic RC race tech stuff to give away. How did you get Rodman out of this thing? No. So, Clinic RC compression gauge from race tech. Who's going to win that? Jacob Barrett, you win it. Compression gauge from Clinic RC. Congratulations. And we're going to do a head droop gauge as well from Clinic RC. Kevin Thompson, congratulations. He wins the droop head droop gauge, I guess. That's what it was. Maybe I wrote that down wrong. All right. So who came on this this year and gave us a big prize was Carl RC. Bowman, can we put everybody back in here? We're going to do some draws for... What are we doing? What are you giving away, JQ? A course? Yes. So a full uh, full course, one-year access. Okay. This is for everybody. Uh, also, oh, Carl, RC is given, Carl RC is giving away a, a, pro, a product package. It's actually worth almost $300. It's got a large screw catcher. Uh, Carl RC screw catcher mat. These are mats. Mod slick silicone spray. Carl RC cleaning wipes. Uh, tire glue. Thread locker. A small dot box. Uh, they got some skins. Some Moo Clean. They got a few other things here. So uh, Heath came through and donated this. So everybody is about to... Uh, everybody is going to be in the draw for this. So thanks to Heath Mescal. Us- Giving Excuse away me? the whole barn. What about the course? Can we spin the... The course will be after this. These oh, are the two oh. grand prizes. 
Okay, take it easy. Calm your tits, JQ. Calm your tits. Okay, now you're getting a little bit too fast. All right, first thing is for the big call RC prize. Remember, this is a USA only prize, USA North America. So who will be the big winner? Oh, you know what, Danny? We will put you on there for the next one. Cor wow, he won twice. That's crazy. Corliss won twice. David, put DJ Hepler on there. You forgot to put his name on there. Please. So, Tony Corliss, you won the Call RC package. Congratulations. Oh, we got all the names here. Wow, that's a lot of names there. Okay. So, it's the call. All right. Now. So, you know what? We're going to put uh, DJ Hepler's name in there. Uh, who else? Let's put, you know, who needs, who probably needs that. Let's put Chauncey remove, Mack's uh, name in there. Remove uh, Rodman. He's such a hater. Rodman's a hater. You're not removing anybody. Yeah, Rodman. Put Sebastian Beltran, John Callis, Jared Malveda. We're going all out. What do you mean? People that, are just asking to be put on. That's all right, because this is going to make it harder. And we're going to... You're, you're such a slut, Lefty. <laughs> Jesus, thank you. This is a child... This is a child-friendly podcast. I asked to put Orsini in there. One, eight, RC cars. Orsini, or you can put O-R-C-I. Spin the wheel. No. It's your good gift. You got to give it away as much as possible. Yeah. Give as. The wheel. All right. So we're ready. Spin the wheel for a JQ Invisible Speed online course. Good for a year. Yes. Lefty the slut. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> EKJ. Well done, Corey. Good job. Good job. Corey I know, J Joseph Fish, I did not see your penis, or I did see your ass at FCC. Because you showed it to everybody. Well done, Corey Jordan. I couldn't think of another a great guy to win that. Oh. Yeah, it's the second time he's won it. I thought he won it last year as well in the last giveaway. Wow, Corey. Really? Good luck. <clears throat> yeah, I think he won it last time as well. So he's already in there? Yeah, so he gets another year. That's funny. Okay. All right. Uh, Are we done uh, with these God no, damn prizes? What about the who's going to win the pro built car, JQ? Yeah, that's after. Are you done now? Can we delete this? <clears throat> I'm done. Get out. Congratulations yes? to all the winners. Thank you to everybody that that all the companies that donated. We greatly appreciate it. Give us some time, people. It probably won't be to the next year that we start giving these out. Well, getting these shipped out. So, no. <laughs> where, did, where did JQ go? All right, JQ. Flip, so, flip the summer. Okay, so now, Bauman, we need a second list. I sent you the spreadsheet. All the people who bought the course in October, they have a chance of winning a brand new Mayako buggy built by either David Ronifalk or Robert Bacchia. Okay. So once, so uh, Bauman is done. Here are all the people. Well, that many and, people uh, bought the course in October. That's quite a lot. Yeah. So here we go. Spin the wheel, I guess. We'll see who wins the car. And then they'll be contacting and they can. Uh, oh, my no God. My oh, you know what? I'm so happy for this dude because that's all he kept talking about. Really? Like, I hope I win it. I hope I win it. That's I hope so I win funny. this new Mayako. Well done, Mike Driscoll. That's funny. congratulations, so, dude. Need to contact him about that then. He's gonna be so excited. This is gonna, and he just had a birthday the other day. Happy belated birthday to him. Yeah. So he was. Good. Uh, he actually was the guy who gave me gave us these. Uh, Beaker and Bunsen. This is okay. actually should be like us. Nice. Obviously, He's I'm in Bunsen. the UK, right? Yes, he's in Wales. Congratulations. He was so, he was like, I hope I win it. 
I'm gonna sign up for this right now, and I hope I win it. I hope I don't win shit. I don't win nothing. And he won it. But is it winners well, no, or winners? It's a winner now, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. He got cheers, JQ. I'm drinking Bud Light Lime. I actually like Bud Light Lime. It's really good. It's, it's not that finished, good, yeah. but what's up, Josie? How you Something doing? Else. I'm drinking. Brugao, extra viejo, and Coca Cola with a, a spritz of lime. Okay. Wow. So. I think uh, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody that tuned in. Thank you to all the companies that donated to our Christmas giveaway. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you to you, David. I know it's you're tired. You're back there. You're kind of we're fading out, but we couldn't have done it without you. Uh, it's been an awesome, awesome year. And uh, JQ, you have to admit, it's been a great year for us. It's been fun. And we capped it off with that three weeks of wonderful bonding time in South America. And uh, 2023 is looking pretty epic as well. So <clears throat> uh, I'm looking forward to that as well. I'll be My next race should be DNC. I know some guys were talking about getting me. You know what? Shit. I forgot we have to give away some more stuff. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Let's do a New Year's show. Yes, we do. I forgot all about TNR fuels. They gave me some quartz to give away. Hmm. I forgot all about that. You know what? We're going to give away those right now. How? With the spin the wheel. We got four quarts of TNR fuel to give away. Thank you to TNR fuels. It was a late... Entry. I forgot all about it. That's why I have it written under. Somebody in America will win a TNR quarter fuels. Let's go, guys. TNR fuels. <laughs> Someone said, I think JQ's head exploded. Well, we can't send it to Chris Lovell because he's in, in Europe. So... Bowman's like, I am so tired. Me too. Benjamin James, you got a quarter fuel, even though you don't run nitro. Well, about time to start then, I would say. Whoops. All right, one more, two more drawers. Chase Freeze, you won again. <laughs> Paul Rodman won again. Oh, my God. You know what? I'm giving Omar O the last one because he's been her steady. Omar O, you get the last quarter field, good buddy. I believe you're up in Pacific Northwest. But sorry about that. I forgot that I had the TNR fuels. Actually, I didn't write it down. That's why, because it came in late. But thank you to TNR fuels for their support as well. Thank you guys. If it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't have been able to do a lot of things that we've done this year. It's been a great year. And I hope you guys enjoy this, giving it back a little bit. <laughs> and, um, Omar O is from, yes, from the barn. I think they've seen him up in the Pacific Northwest, too, for some strange reason. JQ, anything to say to uh, the listeners and the people that have supported the NNRC, excuse me, Mayako, Invisible Speed, all of that for this year? I'm all out to compliments and thanks. For this that year. means he's very happy. Thank you, everybody, for all your support. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for supporting Lefty. Now we have to figure out next year how to support him enough so we can fix his arm. Yeah, that's what you and Robert wanted to do. So yeah, that was like Robert. First, we need to fix your arm. Yeah, it's like ten grand or what did he say? Yeah, probably about that. Uh, yeah. But yeah, thank you guys. Enjoy your Christmas. Thank you for all the support. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you to these companies. Remember, uh, also there's a written link in the written description. There's links, coupon codes, and everything to these companies. Check them out. It really helps us out a lot. 
Uh, Douglas Reek says, I got the invisible speed. It's been very helpful to him. That's great. Happy holidays to my uncle Lauren, who races RC cars. And I never knew who he was. And then I found out he was my uncle, like real uncle. And then he races RC cars. And he knows so many people that I know. That's crazy. And um, yeah, Matt, that's what JQ wants to do. He wants to get a GoFund going for my arm. Robert's on that tip as well. I, but I want to build a house first. Um, we shall see how that goes. But honestly, we guys can't do without you guys. Uh, it's been a it's been a great year. It's been long. The last little part was a little hard. We pushed through it. We had fun. We're going to take a break over the Christmas holidays. You guys be safe. Enjoy your holidays. Be safe. We've had a few people pass away uh, recently from be before uh, Christmas. We don't want to see any more of that. And we look forward to uh, get it done. Uh, getting done in 2023. Wouldn't it be fit easy to same her, man? It's cheaper in DR. That's why. It's uh and it's at home where I have to be by the time you fly you put in flights and all that stuff. PNB this year? No, nope, highly unlikely. I'll be going to PNB. Um not going to that many races next year. We'll see how that works out. And um yeah, I just we had a lot of fun. Because <laughs> Jerry Fisher, I know a guy. <laughs> Groups of accident, I know a guy. No, but tour, uh, medical tourism is big here in the DR as well. Oh, yeah, if they want to get me to TNR, I'll go to TNR, work with Matt Olson. And Pat Finn says, you can build your own house if Jaku gets your arm fixed. Maybe. We'll see what happens. Thank you, David, for all your help, man. We appreciate it. You were great. And um, we look forward to SIC coming up first. Then we have the TNR race. And hopefully I'll be at Arizona as well. Thank you, Charlie Mac. And um, you guys have a good Christmas. Thank you for all the support. We greatly appreciate it. And uh, we'll be back in January, doing what we do. Ma Arrogant Max will be back as well. So he'll be there. Uh, Hunter, for prices again, for pri oh, prizes, just hit me up on Messenger or Discord. Uh, probably nothing's going to happen to the new year, to be honest. So just hit me up. Tell me what you want. Give me your, oh, tell me what you want. Give me your name and address, please. All your contact details. JQ, thank you for your time. It's been a great year. It was fun in, in South America with you. I look forward to DNC. And uh, let's rock this shit next year. Yeah, next year is uh, going to be going to be an interesting year, I would say. It's a shame that there's no RCGP. Uh, it would have been good to have that sort of a chance of progression for our industry. It's more of the same, more meaningless races with bad coverage. So that's a shame. A uh, few good, few good ones with good coverage, but not all the drivers. I don't understand why we can't get our shit together collectively as an industry. So all the top drivers go to a few of the same races a year. Those races have equally good coverage. You know, why can't we do that? It's ridiculous. Um, makes me want to quit and do something else than RC, to be honest. Every other sport on earth can figure it out where the best people in that sport go to the same events. They have good coverage in RC. We can't do that for some reason. So it sucks. But on that happy note, uh, Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas to everybody. And um, you guys enjoy your holidays. Be safe. That's the most important thing. And thank you for all the support. We can't do this without you guys. And it's been a great year for me. And none of that would have been possible without all you guys' support. And we look forward. Hopefully, you continue to support us going into 2023. And we look forward to pushing the envelope and uh, pushing for change in RC. So that yeah. yeah. Go fuck yourself, JQ. You, even though you did meet this night or well, this video, I'm so proud of you. It's like, you know, the young bull. And I was the <laughs> old bull. And, you know, <laughs> I was like, you know, young bull, you just walked on her and you do what you got to do. You know, in the end of that night in Brazil, you made me so proud. I was so proud of you. So. <laughs> Let's just tell the truth here. I, I We were supposed to go out, but you went back to the hotel. Yes, I did the smart thing. 
Yeah, I said we have to go out. This is our chance. We're in. Brazil. Do you know Let's every go. single guy from Brazil was like, "You guys left him out in Brazil." I was like, "Yep." Yeah, these guys. Everyone left me alone in Brazil. I was alone in in uh, Brazil at night. It's crazy. Well, it worked out for you. Let's just put it that way. It did work out. It was pretty good. I was so proud of you, like a a Jedi Knight. Watching his Padawan. That's enough of that. <laughs> what? What was I talking about? You just, you just, I don't know. you just indicated, you just implicated yourself. Anyway, guys, uh, <laughs> the best part, fuck the world. <laughs> I did think it was fuck the world. I really did. Yeah, I knew you didn't know what it is. I know it for the win too, but fuck the world sounds so much better, dumbass. No, you didn't know. Anyway, you have a good Christmas, JQ. Bond with your family. Have fun. Stay off Tinder. And um, you know, even though I know that's hard for you to do. I don't need Tinder. You definitely weren't See, I, saying that. I'm not I'm not good on Tinder because I'm ugly, but uh I win them over with my great personality. All right, and that ends the NNRC Christmas show because now the shit is too thick and too high. I can't walk anymore. Thank you, guys. Have a good weekend. Thank you, guys, for being with us today. Uh, it's Wednesday, and be safe on Christmas, and we will see you guys in January. Thank you all. We love you, and um, Nitrous to Glory. E-Buggy pays the bills. JQ is really a good guy, deep down, deep, 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 deep down. Deep, I'm not deep, really. Deep, deep, deep. He's an asshole, but he's really a deep, a good guy. David, thank you for your help. Thank you guys for sticking with us and flashlight, flashlight getting abused. Oh, man, it's been so funny. Thank you guys. We love you. And um, we'll talk to you in January, right, JQ? Or maybe not yeah. you. You're miserable. Yeah, you All right. See you guys later. Lefty, JQ, and the basement. We're out.